Yo, what's going on guys, CVS Segu, back again with another video, and this is like my second time recording this, uh, I've messed up a few times, so, uh, if I end up messing up again, I'm not gonna re-record, <laughs> but yeah, it's a different map, shocking, huh? Uh, this is actually a 1v1 SD GB on freight, I'm actually surprised on how well I did, to be honest with you, uh, considering I don't normally play singles, you normally see me playing clan versus clan, or something else, normally clan versus clan, I don't know why I said oh, shit, something else, uh, but uh, yeah, um, I've actually been watching streams and watching videos displaying players playing singles, and I pay attention to their strats and mix up a tiny bit, okay, I'm lying, I basically jacked their strats, no, uh, I'm kidding as well, um, I, I, I use their strats, but I mix it up a little bit to make my own, but yeah, I mean, so far it's worked, but, you know, it's whatever anyways uh this time around i'm going to attempt to talk about my thought process of the places i make and why i decided to do them so first round already ended uh, and as you saw i pretty much just choked <laughs> my aim was terrible and for whatever reason i was nervous i don't know why but i quickly got those nerves out and now we're on the defensive round so i decided to play this 50 50 as you can see, I'm rushing uh, bottom Owens, right outside bottom right of Owens. And uh, basically, this is a 50 50 play uh, because I end up staying hard aimed at uh, the right side door of White, hoping he'd come out that way. And he kind of did. He didn't come out the door, but he ended up being on the right side. So I kind of kind of got lucky. Uh, there was actually like only one way he was able to get me, and that's coming from behind. Pause. And just going through, like, just going through the back and just shooting me. Yeah, like, that's the only possible way. If you can't, if you went underground, I would have been able to hear him and got in a position to kill him. But, uh, yeah. Again, I got, I got kind of lucky, but not really. And, uh, you know, hard aiming right there, staying there, it worked. So now this round, <laughs> I actually forgot I had to pick out the bomb. Uh, I, for I, I knew I was on offense, but I forgot there was a bomb I had to plant. So, went back to go get that, and it actually screwed me over quite, quite a bit. It, uh, well, a lot, to be honest with you, because I was rushing up the crates for a reason. I wanted to get into red to try and be a couple of steps in front of uh, whoever I was playing. I forgot who I was playing. Legit Slayer or whatever. I don't even know. I don't pay attention when I play as to who I'm playing when, I, when I'm in a GB. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to get in there because I have marathon and agility and I can get it in there faster than he can. And I was hoping I'd be able to pick him off, but forgetting to pick up the bomb kind of ruined that. And, uh, it just, yeah, you know, it, it, I mean, it ended up working out in the end this round. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I decided to, you know what, uh, let me go red, check if he's in there. If he's not, then I'm just going to go plant. So, about 20 seconds left, 19. All right, like 18, kick 17. I decided to plant the bomb. Uh, he kills me. It's whatever. It's around. Oh, Luckily, shit, he didn't. He wasn't point. around. So I planted the bomb and quickly gone to this corner, uh, main corner. People normally go in, and he ended up coming in the fire. Maybe he saw me go in the fire. I don't know. And then uh, I was easily able to kill him with uh, just focusing, focusing on my stream, my stream, my screen. Looking both at that door and the door on the right and and second story Owens, so you gotta have you got your eyes are gonna be active <laughs> when you do these one v ones. And uh, yeah, I'm not surprised I got that kill. So yeah, defensive round. Uh, I once again uh, play this 50-50. To be honest with you, this was a bad strategy because I mean it worked out, but it's kind of bad because. Yawning, sorry. There's multiple ways that the guy could have killed me. I could have went through that bottom red door, or you could have went uh, that underpass alley or whatever. But uh, I'm actually surprised this ended up working because he ended up being on the roof to the right on red. And I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> so, well, luckily that worked out. I figured that this, since I was up 3 1, I was like, alright, this is gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna be pretty easy. And then once you see. Uh, by the sixth round, 
Uh, you see that I was playing a little bit more confidence, I guess. Uh, or, I don't know, it just, as I kept winning rounds, I felt more and more comfortable. So, <laughs> I ended up, it actually, it, it ended up going up, I ended up going up 5-1. But that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to find out how, uh, how, if I won or if I didn't win. So, uh, but yeah, so... What did I do this round? What did I do this round? What did I do this round? Oh yeah, I decided, you know, let me rush for it again. Uh, but once I got to the red train, I decided, you know what? Let me hold off. I pick, I ended up, I picked up my double smoke class. So I was like, you know, hold up. Let me try to make, turn his, let him focus on the smokes and let me go into red slowly and quietly and see what happens. So I go here. I'm behind that. I'm behind this. I check this. I end up checking this corner. I don't want to die from. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You also end up seeing in a later round that I completely fail. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> anytime I go rush on lumber yard, every time, anytime I go lumber yard, I end up checking every single like alleyway, make sure no one's there. And uh, luckily, and so for some reason, he was in the most popularized corner you could be in, in a certain destroy. Uh, Honestly, you should never be in that corner. Either of those corners. Uh, just play with instinct. Yeah, play with your gut. Play with the clock. And uh, just, you know, it's just all about instinct and luck and stuff. So, yeah. Defensive round. Now, I decided to uh, stay back. And uh, I decided to go and go back to Lumber. Go to the Lumber Yard. And stay in this corner right here. Because... Two. There's three ways. You could, there's two ways you can see someone. One way is obviously directly in front of me, where I can see basically uh, Owens and um, Gate Alley or Underground Alley, and like the Underpass Alley between Fire and nephew, Owens, and up. the hole in the gate to the left. I can see if he turns onto this alley, onto uh, his back alley, I guess, or whatever. But yeah. As you saw, the guy, he ended up coming out from, like, the alley between Fire and Owens. And he ran back the same alley. So, I knew he was going to go A. So, oh, I had actually, I had pretty good timing. I let the I let the time run down a bit. So, timing was pretty good. And I was able to get the, uh, get the easy kill. Um, for some reason, he didn't, you know, think I'd go into Fire. Uh, I'm not going to chase, I'm not going to chase you. So, I don't know. He may, maybe he, maybe he would have killed me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he would have. So, now, uh, what did I do in this? What did I do in this offensive round? Huh? What did I do in this offensive round, fellas? What did I do? <clears throat> well, as you can say, I'm all five round, uh, five one. So. Oh my god, I cannot, like, burp right now. <laughs> like, every time it comes to recording, I cannot burp. But, um, yeah, I fussed around. I decided to rush red again. Or kind of rush red, but, uh, fortunately, didn't really work out. Uh, for some reason, I didn't check the corner that I checked last, the uh, previous round, when I was on offense. And, uh, I have no clue why. Uh, but you know, it's no biggie. I'm not afraid to give up a round or two when I'm up 5-1. So Hey, you know here have a second round win <laughs> Here's here's a second round for you <laughs> So it's no biggie uh, So yeah defensive round I go back in the same corner Always gonna go back in the same corner uh, Well, not always because that that'd be stupid because sooner or later you're and the opposing player is gonna catch on so I end up going back in that corner, uh, hoping what happened in the previous round, the uh, defensive round, would work again. Um, fortunately, he did not do the same idiotic thing by exposing himself near Owens and running back TikTok between the fire and Owens right. alley. And uh, I kind of wish he did. <laughs> I kind of wish he just popped around this corner and went just back. Like, that stupid vine is so annoying. 
It's around everywhere. It's, it's so annoying. Like people, like people are making remakes of it and stuff, and it's not funny anymore. It's just stupid and dumb. I don't get it. I have a Vine, but it's not like anything crazy. It's just like music and stuff, as you can see in the overlay. Swaggy tracks official. You can follow me on there. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. I don't really post pictures. Um, or you can follow me on my main Twitter. It's uh, right there on the bottom. Oh, or my YouTube Twitter, playing. which is DVS Tegu. Um, but yeah, when he planted the bomb, uh, at first I thought he was going to run into fire, as you can see I'm looking at fire. Uh, then it hit me He's that he was obviously behind the A-bomb fence, and for some dumb reason, I'm, I'm still, I'm still kind of pissed at myself. Um, I didn't pre-fire, because I had a feeling right when I, I had a feeling right when I was going to go and turn the corner that he was going to be there. But I didn't want. I didn't pre-fire. Maybe it was because I didn't want to give up my position if he wasn't there. But I should have pre-fired because I mean, there's only like three other places he could have been, I guess. And yeah, but so yeah, it's five three. He won two rounds in a row after me being up five one. No biggie. So I found the round, two smokes again. Uh, I ended up pushing up the crates, push red, throw smoke in front of Owens. I think it was kind of near underpass and Owens, so. Either way, I'm trying to get him to focus on the smokes. So, again, I'm just taking my time here. I was going to directly just go push red, but I decided to just play a little bit slower. So I end up, so I threw the second smoke and uh, get him to focus, again, focus on the smoke. It's all about focusing, having your opponent focus on something. So I push red, uh, this time not hard, uh, just checking everything, second floor, whatever, third floor, make sure he wasn't there. I thought he was behind this wall again. I thought he was in this corner, so I took my time, <laughs> looked, looked in that corner, he wasn't there. Then I thought he was going to be in this corner, that's why I jumped, he wasn't there. I would have died anyways, because I hit the fence. And uh, again, offensive rant, I'm looking in the al every single alley and corner that I can when I get to be. So, um, for some reason, he saw me go to B, and he decided to start shooting me. Uh, which is kind of a bad part, uh, bad, it was bad for him, it was kind of dumb for him to do because it helped me out because I never saw him, so, uh, I don't know what the hell he was thinking, he should have played more patiently, but, I don't know, uh, but yeah, uh, as you can tell, the game ended with me winning 6-3, and, uh, the next gameplay is actually on the same map, so, uh, yeah, but it's a better, it's a better 1v1 anyways, you'll enjoy more than this one. Yeah, once again, my name is DVS Segu. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, peace.